Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back. We're going to be reading the letters from Elise. I think she actually reads them, Paris, so that's cool. September twenty. Hold on, hold on. Let me shut up, and we'll get we'll get into this. My love, hold on. dear Arno. I confess I'm not entirely sure what to say here. It was good to see you again. Somehow rings hollow, an empty space unfit to contain the totality of my feelings. And yet I am pleased. Pleased that the assassins have not changed you completely. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You never were one to be easily awed. It seems we have both found ourselves at an impasse in the hunt for my father's killer. Perhaps together, we can accomplish what neither of us could alone. It's nice to think that after all this time, we're still better together than apart. Yours, Elise. Oh, Arno. What have you done? I know we didn't part on the best of terms, but to go running to the assassins? My father kept you away from them for a reason. Their creed is like wine. Sweet enough at first blush, and in moderation it makes life seem more bearable. But drink too deeply, and you find naught but madness and anarchy. No doubt they've already filled your mind with tales of how dreadful we Templars are, that we would make slaves of humanity and place our boots on the world's neck. You knew my father, and you know me. I can only pray that is enough to give the lie to those tales. My order has turned against me, and I am hunted by those I once called friend. I could not bear it if you turned against me also. Think of me, and be well, Elise. Dearest Arno, I can barely conceive how much has changed in the last three years. How far our roads have taken us. Sometimes I feared our paths would diverge forever. Or else come together at loggerheads like the star-crossed lovers in some hackneyed stage piece. Yet here we are. Not the same brash children we once were, nor yet strangers. When this is over, when Germain is dead at our feet and my father rests, who then will we be? Assassin mentor and Templar Grandmaster? The continuation of the old? Or the beginning of something new? Will we shape the future of our world? Or will we retire quietly to the countryside to raise goats? I can just see you, a goat herd, leaping and climbing about the Alps. No goat would have a chance of escaping you. I do not know what the next days, months, years will bring. All I know is that we shall remain Arno and Elise. And with that, I am content. Je t'aime, Elise. My love. As I write this, you are asleep. If the light wakes you, I'll have some explaining to do. But at this moment, you are sleeping peacefully. Tomorrow is the day, it seems. The culmination of five long years. A moment of revenge. So why can I not quiet this part of me which fears that, at the tipping point, you will flinch? Is it that I fear you loved my father less than I? Or do I doubt your resolve to strike the killing blow? I do not think so. Rather, I fear that you have lost so much already that you cannot bear to lose more. I think that you would let Germain rule France if you thought it would save me. Have you ever known me to need saving? Have you ever had cause to think that I would accept it if it were offered? My fate is my own. My choice is my own. If somehow we both return from this, I will burn this letter. If you are reading it now, then I made my choice there in the temple. Know that I made it gladly. And do not take the burden of it onto yourself. Be at peace, my love. And walk what path you will. All my love. 
Elise. Paris, September 23rd, 1788. Dear Arno, I never thought I could be so bored in Paris. Can you imagine it? The greatest city in the world, and here I am, stuck in endless lectures from dawn to dusk. It's worse than that winter we spent in Strasbourg. Do you remember? When it snowed for a week straight, and we couldn't leave the house, and all the books in the library were in German. <laughs> we convinced that cook the house was haunted by some young Frankish prince. And the poor man refused to leave his kitchen without a rosary in one hand, and a Bible in the other. I miss those days. The things I'm learning from father's friends are... Well, I wish I could tell you about them. Someday, perhaps. But not now. And not like this. But still, I find myself missing those days. Missing home. Missing you. Next time Father comes to Paris, you must persuade him to bring you along. I remain always your Elise. All right, so that is all the letters from Elise. How do I, I hope get I up? know what I'm doing. But that is all the letters from Elise. I really enjoy those as well. Um, I don't know for some reason, I just really like this this game um i really like um i just really like all the the story elements and all of that but i hope you guys enjoyed those letters they really add some depth to the game they add some really cool additions to the game um just in sh like six short letters it really adds a lot to the game for me uh, so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will catch you guys later peace out